Kalani Gold was set up in 2011. It was set up to acquire Mapani, which is an asset in Botswana, and it was bought for Mayan Gold. And we saw a great opportunity there. It was a little bit of an unloved asset, but rightly so, because it wasn't the right size for Mayan Gold. If we've transitioned it from an open pit to an underground, we've reduced the operating costs from 1,400 down to 1,050. And we've got production up to around 35,000 ounces on average and an all-in of 1,050. 2015, we decided that we needed to take that skill set, that management team that I put together, and then put them onto a different asset. And we acquired Galaxy Gold, which is here in South Africa. In the last year, we raised $10 million, and we're now putting that money into this asset. We've got the plant running now on a 15,000, and the idea is to expand it to 30,000 as we go through the year. Both operations are greenstone operations, and we're talking about wide ore bodies. So if we go to uh, Bapani, the ore body there is about 40 to 50 metres wide, 100 metres strike, and we're doing long hole stoping. And it's mechanised mining, so small workforce, it's very easy mining. One of the reasons why we like this asset here in Galaxy is exactly the same. So the Galaxy ore body is again 40 metres wide, 100 metres strike, and we're using the same mining method. In fact, we're using the same mining contractor. The wonderful thing about Galaxy is it's sizable. We've taken it on with a 15,000 tonne plant, which we've refurbished, and the production costs there are going to be about $900 an ounce. But as we ramp it up, and we've got a plan we're putting together now to take it up to 30,000, and again the cost can go down to 800, and then we've got another plan to take it up to 60,000. And how can we do that? Well, easily, because the plant itself is scalable, it's just doing a crush mill float, uh, and we've already bought crushers which are sized up to 60,000, we've bought a second hand mill which is sized up to 60,000. And when we get a 60,000, we're talking about all-in costs of under 700. So it's a great asset which we can scale up and reduce our costs. So we're standing in the area that we're putting in for the foundations for the new mill. So when we acquired this mine, we acquired it basically out of liquidation. In the last two, three years, we've been refurbishing as we've been going along. But now we're doing the big push. So you can probably see it behind me that we started work on repainting, putting it back to the condition it should be in. Uh, and it'll look like Mapani in about 12 months time from now. I'm Wayne Hatton Jones. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Galani Gold. We have two operations, one being Mapani Gold Mine, the other one being Galaxy down in Barberton. My responsibility is to look after the operations both here and down in South Africa. In the mining industry you get an oxide ore body and a sulphide ore body. We focus on the difficult ores being a sulphide ore body like Mapani and at Galaxy. We are basically doing a crush mill flotation and we treat the concentrate here in a high cyanidation followed by oxygen injection. And down at Galaxy we'll be doing a crush mill float and we'll be dispatching the concentrate to an offtake. We make a point of actually fixing up wherever we've made a, an impact. It's also really good. The grass and vegetation has come back. You'll see the impala, the kudus, as well as the clip springers. We've also put quite a few watering points in around the site for the, for the animals to attract them, and they do come in the dry season. So Galani is a, an unusual junior. It has production. A lot of juniors, you're looking at an exploration potential. We have an expansion program, so adding ounces, taking us up to a potential 90,000 ounces, reducing our all-in to under 900 across the whole of the business. So if we go to Mapani, for example, when I started there, there was 18 expats. We're only down to two now. It's about transitioning skills across to the local community as well and taking that senior management team, once we've trained everyone up, and putting them onto another asset. Long term, we have the opportunity to grow into a much bigger operation.